15 days from now. Um, and it's interesting, he's, he's linking that to his own experience, but he's not talking about a, I mean, it's interesting when you get to Acts chapter 2 and you see the, the Spirit of God falling on the, the church in power, it's not out of baptismal spirit that that happens, so he's not trying to teach them that Jesus is now baptized and spirit came on me, he's not saying that that's the same pattern that you guys will follow, but what he's saying is the same pattern that, 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 uh, that I went through is the pattern that you'll follow, which is the Spirit of God will empower your ministry, and so wait for the Spirit to come, because when he comes, there's gonna, it's an unstoppable force. God is willing to do the answer. It's that kind of thing. The Spirit of God will move. So be ready for that. Um, what Jesus is getting at is simply a couple things. First of all, he's saying, wait. Right, wait. Why should we wait, Jesus? Why should we wait? Because... He says, don't go out in your strength and in your power to do something that only God can do. That's the problem that they're going to be faced with. You guys have a mission he's going to give the church. You guys have a mission to go and, and, and continue the, the mission that Jesus had to seek and save the lost. You have that mission to go and do. Don't go out there and try to do that on your own strength. On your own power. We got to see this in our, our small group. We've been just going through the book of Deuteronomy. And in the first chapter of Deuteronomy, there's this narration of an event in the life of Israel where they lose a battle, the battle of Seir. And they lose the battle because...